the vice president of Liberia, Joseph Boakai, met with representatives of West African farmers to talk about progress in agricultural development over the past decade. He said that his government is increasing public investment in agriculture, but the head of the network of West African farmers' organizations, known as ROPA, insisted that policymakers in the region should do more to support family farms. The politics have to be favorable to the exploitation of family. He says that it's family farming that generates local wealth and jobs. If voters realize this, governments will then implement policies that help this type of agriculture. The year 2013 marks the 10th anniversary of the African Union's Maputo Declaration on Agriculture and Food Security in Africa. A key aim of the declaration was to accelerate the implementation of the comprehensive Africa Agricultural Development Programme, CADAP. West African heads of state pledged to allocate at least 10% of national budgets for the implementation of agricultural and rural development initiatives within five years. They also committed to implement agricultural policies supported of smallholder farmers and fostering private sector development and to enable private sector and civil society organizations, including those representing smallholder farmers, to participate in consultations at the national and regional levels so that they can contribute to agricultural development initiatives. ECDPM's Jeske van Seters explains that this dialogue is based on evidence from country studies. The idea of this conference was not to organize a conference for a conference, um, but to prepare it well and try to get some uh, results on the table in terms of indications of what is actually the, program, the progress and what are some of the challenges. And in different uh, uh, countries, 10 countries out of the 15 countries in the region, uh, doing a study on different elements that are reflected in the Maputo Declaration um, and how that has um, evolved over the last 10 years. As this data shows, only a handful of countries in West Africa have reached the 10% spending promise. This meeting aimed to take stock after 10 years of Maputo, and here it's been generally accepted that there have been some small efforts made, but these are not enough to make a radical change. The honorary president of ROPA, Mamadou Sissoko, said, there are a lot of resources and revenues from extractive industries that are wasted which could be used to fund agricultural development. After four days of dialogue, the declaration from the farmers said that there is a call for a renewed commitment in 2014 to the Maputo aims. Whilst there will already be an increased focus on the sector in 2014, as it is the year of family farming and the African Union year of agriculture and food security, this final declaration from the farmers has been presented to the Economic Community of West African States Ministerial Committee in Lome on the 23rd of September. This, they hope, along with cooperation with development partners, aligning development assistance with national and regional policy in West Africa, will be for the benefit of family farming.